them in a day in May. Hello everyone and welcome back to Element A Day in May. Ah, gosh, I just want to say thank you to all of my viewers and guest hosts for these 31 videos um, of Elements uh, for the third year in a row. I'm super sleepy because I was up at 4.30 this morning for a really fun reason. I had a really fun commercial shoot today, actually, so absolutely no complaints. But I already took off all of my makeup to give my face a little bit of a break, so... Don't judge me. To recount this month, every week this year had a theme, starting with what's new with the periodic table, and then we did a compound week, followed by mythical elements week, and then we did star stuff week, and today we are into edible elements week. We did a bunch of silly stuff, and uh, there was even a little bit of science in there. I did repeat a lot of elements from previous years, and I actually even repeated stuff uh, within the month uh, this year, and that's just because of the context of the theme weeks, but that also means that I saved a bunch of elements for next year, so stay tuned. Fourth year of Element A Day in May, coming up next May. Today's element, however, is brand new for Element A Day in May, and that is manganese. I'm gonna miss saying element a day in May. Element a day in May, ding! All of my friends have been singing that jingle, it's really sweet. I love you all for it. Not to be confused with magnesium, manganese is also a mineral, which means it is not found as a free element, but it's usually found in combination with other elements. The name comes from a part of Greece named Magnesia, which is kind of cool because it's right by actually where my family is from in Greece. The metal was isolated from a black ore called magnesia negra, and then it became known as manganese. Manganese is an edible elements week because like iron and zinc and many others, it is an essential trace nutrient required for all forms of life. But too much of it and it actually causes uh, this neurological disease called manganism and it's responsible for making people feel a lot of emotional disturbances or like shakes and tremors. But in small quantities, like all trace nutrients, it is essential, essential, essential? It is essential for proper body functioning. It can be found in things like hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, spinach, lima beans, black tea, and more. Well, that's it, guys. I can't believe it's over. Element a day in May, 2017. I can't believe I did 31 videos this month, um, and you guys watched them all. Thank you so much for those of you that did, um, or those of you that are catching up. If you guys have a favorite element from this year or years past, please let me know in the comments below. And then also pick your favorite element and share it with your friends and family, because the more people that share it, the more people come see the channel, and the more we can spread science to the world. Also, the more subscribers and viewers I have, the better quality videos I can make for you. I really appreciate you guys watching and listening to this jingle for the last 31 days and all of my silly antics. Uh, you guys are so great, and um, I will talk to you soon. As always, subscribe for science. Element a day in May.